The clown's severed arm can be found in Peartree's house, which has its entrance boarded up, and a sign outside saying, Under Investigation. You can find this house situated next to the east side of Sorceress Sundries. You'll see Peartree's lifeless corpse on the floor with a chest right next to him. And if you pull the chest to the side, you can unveil a hatch. It can be lockpicked or opened using Peartree's key, which can be found in the bookshelf next to his bed. Down there in the basement, you'll find another murder scene. And if you investigate courageous little Kimabeth's large body, you'll find Dribble's severed arm. Might not be the time. <laughs> until you remember the way, shall we? regards you lifelessly. Frank Peartree. remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Feet. That corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? Ugh. 
Dribble's severed foot can be found in Rainforest's house, near to the lower city wall waypoint. Underneath the stairs there is a hatch to the basement, where you'll find another ritual site and a couple of bodies. One of these bodies, Winslow to be precise, will have Dribble's severed foot. The severed hand is actually still within the circus. You can find it on a table around Popper's stall. If you get caught stealing it, you can talk your way around him, letting you keep it without getting aggressive. bite marks. It's worth lots. Uh, fine. I give it to you for a discount. Another sweet sale for Papa, the business lord. Enjoy your treat, ho. Make sure to not overcook it. Dribble's severed head can be found at the Undercity Ruins. After defeating Gislev, on your way to the Temple of Pal, you'll find another murder scene, spotting several dead bodies with Wilting Alex being the prominent one. If you interact with his corpse, you can get Dribble's severed head. Londo from the sea. He did not know. He did not revel in the glory. Go! 
to be Dribbles' head. I think that's it. We found all of him. Time to show the ringmaster. Dribble's leg can be found near the lower city wall waypoint in Lavernica's house. After picking the door, you'll find another murder site. In the corner of the house, there is a hatch that can be lockpicked or opened with a key looted from the cupboard. Down here, at the back of Groundkeeper's basement, you'll find a ritual circle with the corpse of Incontinentia Figgin. If you interact with the body, you'll find Dribble's severed leg. Never saw when he left, though, did turns should do it. Be propping up the bar in the elf song, for all we know. A sacrifice or some kind of display? Look at those colours. That's a clown's leg for sure. Dribble's severed pelvis can be found in the lower city, in a building located close to the Basilisk Gate Waypoint. If you head north up the alley next to the gate, you'll find some double doors you can pick, and inside, you'll see Gohumbry Tresp's body on the floor. If you interact with the body, you'll find Dribble's severed pelvis. Come on, open up. has been desecrated, displayed, and there's nothing random about it. The, clown. the severed clown torso can be found in the crypt underneath the open hand temple. The area can be accessed through the cave entrance or the ornate wooden hatch in the temple's kitchen. Wanna dance? Hello. If 
not over, than through. I want to have a word. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites, and his teeth are missing, but these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before, where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave. It's called magic, darling. Do keep up. Not this instant. So should you wish for anything from my staff, be quick. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. <laughs> <laughs> 